Let's review what we learned about responsive layouts using the flexible cats example. If you've looked at, at the mock-up, you can see that we are we have some things to do before our page will be the result that we need. Here is the current um, state of the world in Chrome. So first of all, this picture up at the top is just way too big, completely huge. Um, but the biggest problem in terms of responsivity is that this does not get any bigger than, than it can get right now. So taking a quick look in the inspector, just to get the lay of the land here. The reason this is happening, let me find a big chunk here. I'm mousing over this tag selector on the left to find progressively bigger and bigger pieces of the page. So there's the content. Here's the page. Ah, okay, so I'm going to click on the on the pound page, so the div with an ID of page, and it looks like the width is set to 960. So this means that this is never going to be responsive because um, we uh, it, it will never get smaller than 960 pixels ever. <clears throat> and seeing that, I'm expecting that these this column over here and the right-hand column over here are also probably set to exact widths. And let's have a look. Here's the content. 636 pixels on the content, and um, just above it is the sidebar, 324 on the sidebar. So those are exactly making up the 960 pixels overall width. Um, that's pretty much the only thing uh, that we need to change in terms of layout. We need to put some images into these image areas, and then uh, that should be about it. So th our job is actually relatively simple. It's simple because the tags that we're looking at in the file today are complicated. And so um, welcome to real HTML from something like this was this happened to be generated by WordPress. So this is our overview. Our assets are inside the assets folder, inside the images folder. And there, here's the cat images that we're going to be needing to put into the, um, the actual content of the page. Um, the logo is in there um, for us already. and I'll probably delete the spacer because we're not using it um, before I give this to everybody. There is a normalized style sheet and it's being linked and this is our style sheet down in the styles so that's how it's organized. Um, in the next video we will start right at the very beginning by checking for the viewport tag and then making the overall layout responsive.